What's up, everybody? Happy April. You know what that means. It's my yearly 420 crowd work on edibles show. This year, we're doing something special. We're hitting two locations, Stamford, Connecticut, New York Comedy Club, and then back in New York City for a late show, all on 420. Tickets are now on sale at MikeCannonComedy.com. These are completely improvised, spur-of-the-moment shows. There's rumors that there might be some archery involved. Uh, I've been constantly told no by the venue, but we may just push through anyway. Way. Either way, it's all going to be filmed and documented by our very own Nicole C. Lyons. We got special guests, weird stuff going to be happening. 420, crowd work on edibles, plus more. Tickets at MikeCannonComedy.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Here's the Scenario Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Mike Feeney, being joined with me, as always. By Mike Cannon. And also... Say daddy to God. And we got a very special guest, as always. Uh, uh, just, you know, you know him from Comedy Central and um, just shot his new Netflix special. Yeah. Right? And in Chicago, Mark Norman. Hey! hey. hey. Comedy Central's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Netflix. I'm on <laughs> CISO. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It is crazy how far... Anyway, uh, but uh, this podcast is a uh, hypothetical what if. You guys send us the questions, patreon.com slash scenario pod, and uh, we get to them. Yeah. And we got a ton. And it I is funny, it was- though, that like saying something like Comedy Central or whatever is like means nothing when it's like, say the podcast. The podcast is more I know. successful, which is hilarious because one time a couple years ago, I was opening up for Bobby, and I, I first time bringing him I go, you know him from his podcast, YKWD, and whatever, he goes up. Does the hour comes up and he goes podcast? I uh, just did the Tonight Show. He starts yeah. screaming at me. And I'm wow. like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like now it's like yeah, the podcast. Fuck yeah, yeah. boomer. You fucking, yeah, no you one tell you Tonight boomer, Show. There, that does suck when you make a faux pas with when you're opening for. Did you open for Bobby too ever? Uh, no, I don't think I ever did. Because I opened for him for a little while too, and there is that thing where you know you just make those on the road, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. opener mistakes. Yeah. Like one time I said, I, I brought him up as like, are you ready for your next? Com- when he was headlining, yeah. you know what I mean? I was like, you ready for your next comedian? Yeah. And he was like, next comedian? I'm the fucking headliner. I'm the reason that they're here. He was 100% right. He was 100%, 100% right. right. But yeah. I was like, okay, I would never think twice. I'd go, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, next yeah, comedian. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but one time I was hosting at Comics, which is no longer here, and Joe DeRosa was headlining. And I was so nervous. It was like my first time hosting in a real club. And I go, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your headliner, Joe Rogan. <laughs> the, the Joe and the O's and the whatever. And, and the crowd was like, oh. And then this ugly Egyptian adopted shoulderless candle yeah. walked out. It, it, and yeah. they were like, oh. And he's like, well, folks, let me tell you why nurses are cunts. You know? <laughs> and they, they hated him. Ew, gross. Kill it with fire. Um, all right, let's get into some questions. This is from Cerna Style. Uh, you're all police in a New York City precinct. Who is the bike cop? Who is the patrol car? Who is in the patrol car? Who is a detective? And who gets taken down for corruption? Mm. Oh, I'm going down for corruption. Like, that's the first move I'm making. What? First year, I'm finding out how to get. You think yeah. anybody's going to trust you enough to corrupt yeah. <laughs> you? You trust me enough. Would you corrupt me? No. Corrupt with me? No. Me? Would you I mean, have no idea dude. the business side of this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to say, no offense. I, I got you in the squad. <laughs> You're in the squad car park talking to the other guy in the squad. Yeah. You know that move? Fuck? I like that too. I'm Everyone was going to Someone speeds by and you go, I'll find a way to be corrupt ah, in that it. situation. <laughs> See, I think you're the corrupter because you got oh, the yeah. good face. Yeah. So they trust you. Yeah. But meanwhile, you're stealing Girl Scout cookies or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got that Girl Matt, Matt Damon and Departed kind yes. of thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm down with that. <laughs> yeah, that's, this is the best question. Yeah, <laughs> I liked it. Uh, who's the bike cop and who is uh, and who's a detective? See, he's got grizzled detective yes. face. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. I am, right I am alcoholic. <laughs> will beat you with a bit yeah. On. yeah. Also, like yeah. with the just, bike just, and the knees and the. Uh... Oh yeah, he's got a bad knee. Uh, <laughs> yours are gonna be are really weakening under duress. <laughs> I have no. They're strengthening. No. Uh, <laughs> they're buckling. <laughs> And and Mark does you are on, you are on a bike. A lot I take of time. a bike every so night. That makes sense. <laughs> Big bike guy. <laughs> Plus my DUIs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Um, yeah. it's just crazy though. Is there any? Can you get in trouble for being drunk on a bike? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is that a DUI? Yeah. I got yeah. a vehicle. It's a vehicle. I got a ticket in college. Well, that I'm not talking about the motorized one. Like I mean, like a, a bicycle. No, like yeah, a bicycle. Yeah. You yeah. Can be in big also a vehicle. It? You could get a. You can get a DUI from being on like one of those. What's the water one? The uh, uh, jet ski. Jet ski. But that yeah. makes that sense because right? those go yeah. like those go like 50 miles an hour. I'm yeah. talking walls or there's nothing. You can't crash. Yeah, you can hit a whale. People crash all the time. Who big Sean? Didn't he or some Lil Sean? One of the Sean's. They, mm. one of them crashed their fucking, uh, their water, uh, jet ski. Jet ski. <laughs> I, know, I, man. This, I gave up on the set. <laughs> well, well, they have once to, you couldn't figure out who it was. Yeah, you're like, and then what? It all uh, fell yeah, apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crashed uh, into what? Nothing. But he almost died. <laughs> oh, how do you, how do you even tell? He like abruptly stopped and then flew into a bridge or something. <laughs> I, think, I something forgot you can insane. drown. Yeah, drown yeah. is is better. But he hit a turtle and a crazy concussion. That was a nuts act. Yeah. I committed. Well, it's the like that. I mean, this wasn't off. a this wasn't a jet ski, but Justin that Miami Miller. pitcher. Remember the guy on the Marlins? Yes, who's well, he, doing blow and doing a hundred million uh, miles per yeah, hour. Yeah, he was in he was in a cigarette boat thing. Yeah. They were they were doing like a buck twenty, yeah. and then hit jetties at night. Oof, Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's. Sick. But how can you tell those people that get DUIs on on those jet skis? How, yeah. how can you tell? You're swerving. What, what, anyway. Are they swerving? Yeah. Right. What, what's happening? Are they <laughs> running through red lights? Yeah. Good point. Good point. You gotta be really puking. Right. Mm. Yeah, I actually weirdly enough just saw a video uh, yesterday on Instagram of a kid. It was he like he was a teenager and he went flying by. Uh, there's there's these women on a boat and it was a no wake zone in a canal and this little douchebag teenager just ripped it up and splashed and sprayed the girls as they went by and he kind of like cackled and yeah. then the video cuts and then it's it must have been he smashed into one of the poles of the jetty, like <laughs> not far off. And so the boat's going past him, still in the no wake zone, going, This is what you fucking get, you uh. asshole. And he's like, Your dad's gonna be pissed off. And he's just like a little, like a teenager being like, oh, I'm so he's grounded, man. Out. They call that episode of the Murdoch. <laughs> yeah. It's very fun. Um, okay, uh, next question comes from Ethan Skull Fox. Uh, Hi, low Buffalo with a twist. The highest you ever gotten on weed, oh. the lowest you have ever felt in the last year, and your most dangerous encounter. The lowest you've felt yeah, in the last a, year? Yeah, that's, that's a very... Does today count? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Doing this show? Yeah. Your your most dangerous <laughs> encounter with an animal. So it's the three of those. So the highest you've ever Whoa. gotten on weed, the lowest you felt in the last year, and your most dangerous encounter with an animal. Hmm. Oh, I got two of those down already. Let's All right, go it. for it. Wait, it's got to be the last year? Uh, no, no, I'll give you... Oh, okay. I'm thinking a little loose. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. All right, for a most dangerous animal, I was in, my brother went to the Peace Corps in Africa. So I went to visit, I'm talking Africa. Like, <laughs> not AIDS. South Africa. Yeah, not yeah. South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black. Blood dye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it's huts, it's clit cutting off, it's the whole thing. Sure. And I go out there and I'm with my dad and we're walking around on this beach in Guinea. Not even New Guinea, Guinea. Yeah. And there's uh, these kids with horses. And my dad goes, let's ride these horses. No saddle, no nothing. Oh my and I go, I don't know how to ride a horse. I'm 14 or 15. And he goes, I grew up on a farm. I'll teach you. He gives the kids a fucking little bag of change. He gets on the horse. He rides it all over the beach. I was like, oh, my God. I get on the horse. The horse takes off. I fall off immediately, <laughs> oh and I got God. hit with the legs on the way down. Oh, oh my shit. God. And I, like, God. fell on my shoulder. It was brutal. And all the African kids are like, ah! They're like they're loving it, and I was so hurt, and I faked. It. <laughs> yeah. Did you cry? Uh, I was probably I was doing the hold it in cry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but did you man. falling off a horse at fourteen? That's like a four foot drop that, that, onto oh, yeah. your back. The fact or... that you're not paralyzed <laughs> yeah. is such a win. And then you walked it off, trying to be like, "Well, that didn't hurt." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you ever hilarious. think maybe you died that day, and like all this experience is, is just a simulation of like purgatory or something? Now, this is my lowest point. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I do think uh, I do think falling off a horse, there is a thing, too, right, where people ha get, like, head trauma. It changes the whole trajectory of yeah. their life. Yeah, yeah. It's Superman. Superman. Like, Miley Superman. Cyrus. This kid. Huh? Miley oh. Cyrus, she got, she was, her dad. That did happen, yeah. Took him on a, they were like, I think it was, was it, like, dirt biking or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it was like. And uh, she, was, uh, she was two years old. She was on uh, a quad. She had ATVs. A quad, quad. Yeah, ATV. Yeah. And he was, like, going over things, and a branch was coming and he ducked and she got hit with the brand Close and line. fell off and then she was like never the same again the same thing happened to Roseanne yeah. Sam Kennison yeah. Sam Kennison yeah. yeah. Gary Shandling Gary Shandling got into an accident Aaron Hernandez really? yeah yeah almost died oh I didn't know that <laughs> yeah. crazy Aaron Hernandez yeah look at that um, Aaron Hernandez <laughs> and but, what uh, okay so you got we got your encounter uh, with the horse that's brutal 
That is brutal. I can't, dude, I had a kid. I had a kid named Andrew who fell on like the summer before fourth grade when I moved there, or actually no, sixth grade. It was middle school. He um he fell off a horse and it kicked him. Yeah. It hit the seam of his nut bag oh, and ripped his oh, whole throat ah, open, and his oh, balls oh, fell out. Oh my! No. God. Yeah, dude, oh, on it, the dude. string like fucking no, loose spaghetti it. and meatballs. You dude, saw yeah. it? No, no. Oh, these oh, little oh. stories oh. echoing the halls of my middle school. <laughs> oh my school. god. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the there's a big fish story real fast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, guys, he, I have my balls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and not what we heard. No, but his, his, ball, his bag definitely ripped because his like mom came in and kind of openly discussed it. It was pretty weird. Yeah, wow. his bag ripped. <laughs> <laughs> it was all the strings and everything. Yeah. Everyone's talking about it. Yeah. Dude, horses are scary as scary fuck. Yeah. I never want to go near a horse. Have you no. been on a horse since or anywhere near one? I have, but it was saddle. It was, you know, lady pulling it, you know. Walking, <laughs> yeah. I, it, it was it one of those mechanical yeah. ones in the mall. Yeah. I used to, uh, Donkey. when I, I was a camp counselor at, it was a, a, at a, 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 like kids that had uh, disabilities and we used to go horseback riding and it is a treacherous situation for like a 21 year old down syndrome kid to hop on the back of a struggling horse and oh, yeah. sometimes just take off out of ah, fucking yeah. nowhere. <laughs> there were like several near miss, like just absolutely yeah. catastrophe but could have happened. Whether it's a horse or a downsy kid, yeah. either way, they're both getting a sugar cube. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of it. They get the oat bag and yeah. then the sugar cube. Yeah. I want to feed a downsy kid with a, with a carrot in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kick him in the side to go fast. <laughs> my All right, hit the showers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> my dangerous encounter was I jellyfish. It had to be the uh, the uh, man of man of war jellyfish. Mm. Is that thing? Because they they are supposed to they kill people. Right. <laughs> I should have died, I guess. But uh, yeah, that was bad. There's getting those like that was one of the worst pains. I felt like I was napalmed. Yeah. Whoa. Um, that was brutal. I hear the peeing is a myth. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Oh, uh, you're really? supposed to use like, like whole white, family like piss white on you? vinegar. That sucks. You're like, it's not happening, Dad. You tried. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why is your mouth open? Uh, I don't, what? <laughs> I heard if you drink it, it'll heal it from the inside. Yeah. <laughs> I believe I can fly. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it looked like I had been like like a like a paintball gun shot, but they were you know, oh, tiny little like, all the way up and oh, down and yeah. around and just that sucks. They were like so like swollen each other. It was brutal. Yeah. But so that Florida? was that. Yep. Yeah. Key Largo. Oh my God. Rodriguez oh, go. Key was the name of the key. I'll never go there again. And actually, wow. we went past there with my uh, my, my uncle. We were out on his boat. That's when all this happened. And then year, a decade later, we went back out. And I, I swore off. I was like, I'll never go to that place ever again for the rest of my life. And he goes, Ah, that was the difference. The tides. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. And we went back there. And I'm like literally patrolling the water because they float on yeah. the top already. So I'm just patrolling the water for them. And then. Everyone is like going in and I go, all right, I'm fine, I'll go in. And then like I got to the end of the boat to jump off and there was another giant man of war like right like, there. And I yeah, and just went, come on, baby, come yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. Make my just day. Elbow drop it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, did not go back in. Yeah. So fuck Jeez. that. Jeez. I've never had like an experience like, like bad with an animal. My buddy did have a dog that was like, you know, when you have a friend who's like his whole family is fucked up. So like, obviously the pet oh, yeah, is just going to yeah, be a yeah, nightmare yeah. of a yeah, pet jumping yeah. all over you the second you walk in. They, they would and leave, also barking. They yeah. would leave him out in the backyard. And if you were like, oh, yo, come over and they go, oh, by the way, Rocky is out. So you kind of have to like, uh, it's like being like, dude, yeah. it's like, what's Evade that movie him. with the <laughs> eyes on the fucking Stigmata? No, no, no. Like the, the, the maze. Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, it nice. was like tra getting into his house was like Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. That's not how you say it. Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth. Pam Anderson. Yeah, it's. I, I don't get these families that have a shit dog. That you yeah. have to warn people out of the dog wears a muzzle. I'm like, if your dog's wearing a muzzle, yeah. this is a bad pet. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, get it's rid of it. It's not good, yeah. My mom's current dog has bit. Both of the girlfriends that I've I've had since he's been in our lives. <laughs> Maybe he's making the right choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He comes he's in. telling you something. Yeah. I like her. <laughs> yeah. I, oh yeah, I got bit by the dog in fucking the Middle East. That was probably what? The, but yeah. that was ISIS. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your ISIS dog. Uh, no, I put on one of those coats and they, but the coat was bullshit. It had no padding. Oh. I felt the like all of it. We did it four times. Four yeah, times. Yeah, and I like cut open my whole arm. Like it broke through. It was 
was it was fucked up. Yeah, it was nuts. But again, he was pretending. controlled. Yeah. He was pretending I, re- it I I did a really good job at just kind of like pushing it down and yeah. like smiling yeah, through yeah, my yeah. teeth and like what, what welling was the up. Scenario here. I was uh here's, the, here's scenario. the scenario. I um I oh, was sorry. over there performing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was over there performing. One of us had to do it. The other uh, most of us were women. It was like Kyle Ocasio, Robin Shaw, Ali Breen, and the other one was Gary the size Vader. of a woman, <laughs> Gary Veter. <laughs> so none of the, all of them were too small to do it. He's so I poodle. had to. <laughs> <laughs> He's losing. Joala. He's dragging him in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So I basically had to step up just so the story existed. And I got a bit out of it. But, you know, it. it uh, yeah, we did it a bunch of times. And wow. it bit in the exact same uh, teeth marks uh, oh, each no. fucking oh time, God. dude. Wow. Perfectly dude. aligned. I love that. I love that. It's just like, nuts. as long as it's not right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and like yeah. on the softest fuck you part of the arm uh, to the point where they definitely like shine a red light yeah. on that, uh, like, right, on yeah. the, you know, whatever Arab body that they have. The, the You're also female teacher flab. Yeah. 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 You're also doing it like in front of soldiers. So you can't right. cry or nothing. Oh, nothing, dude. I was, you have to be like, I could do this. I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. But that also, that was the best show of my life that night because it was on Veterans Day in a theater in Kuwait on a base. Whoa. And I immediately showed them the thing and the fucking theater like rumbled. Yeah. Like, it, it felt like we were mortar Whoa. attack. Like, it, was so <laughs> it was fucking awesome. Um, speaking <laughs> of mortar attacks, lowest you felt in the last year? It's the next part of the question. Uh, I don't want to get into that. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of a <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. We'll get rid of it. I guess. And, yeah. uh, all right. Highest you've ever gotten on weed? Probably. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know, dude. A lot. I, you guys smoke a lot. Weed. Right? Yeah. 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 I don't. Really I try to beat my own score every wow. once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Every night. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. No. I've had it. My. You know. <laughs> I've, I've had it down to mostly like I take the same amount every single night. Which is a hundred, but no, amount. yeah, but it's like Not that's really no, but yeah, but after yeah, a yeah. while, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but after a while, it's like you get oh, used to it. Yeah, holy it's, shit. But it, but we're it's on still... fifty right now. Yeah. No. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. We took a. Wow, yeah. that's impressive. Yeah. Holy I mean, it, shit. But uh, but to, uh, I don't know. Whatever. I, I, right. <laughs> no, come well, on. Man. You, to, you know, if you have like eight whiskeys a night, you're gonna yeah, be able yeah, to drink yeah. eight whiskeys yeah. a night, and that's it's fine. Good point. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Um. So I remember. I feel like honestly, one of the first. There was a time in college where I. Uh, smoked an uh, like an ice bong for the first time, or a gravity bong, I should say, for the first time. Oh, Those it was like the, the pretzel jar cut out yeah. in the water, mm. and I remember being. It was the daytime, and it was like it was the highest I had ever felt for for. I mean, it felt like twenty four hours. Yeah. I was high for, yeah. Yeah. but I remember it's really overwhelming and not all that fun. No, no. Like when you're no. way too too high sucks. I remember. I I also another time the first time I ever uh I, I think one of the first times I had smoked. I was at a party and we had the Italian sub, the six foot mm-hmm. thing, and I was I smoked weed and then I started eating this Italian combo and I couldn't like. I just kept chewing the food and breaking it down and breaking it down and break. And then it was it was like sand almost at that point, and I mm-hmm. couldn't figure out the next part of it, like the swallow it. Got swallow. Yeah, I just was breaking it down into the tiniest little, and people were seeing it. It was terrible. It was bad for me. Yeah. I always measure how high you are depending on how, like, long you're staring at yourself in the mirror. Yeah. (laughs) So, like, even when I'm, like, super high, I'm like, don't go near that mirror, dude. You get locked in, it'll make you higher. Yep. Yeah. And hate yourself and see every insecurity. Shrooms are bad, too. Shrooms are bad. No mirrors. No mirrors on shrooms. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can't. Although sometimes I do like when we, when, when I'll take shrooms, like on the road, I go back, we'll go back to my hotel and I just fucking stare at myself and like, look at my body. <laughs> oh, go, look oh, at God. this fucking oh, thing. I've been there, dude. <laughs> like, oh, look I've at this. There. I'm like <laughs> naked. Just, I'm like, uh, look at this. Pinching your stomach. <laughs> just and just like, yeah. Being fucking pale. Just self-flagellating. <laughs> this <laughs> is your lowest point again. Lowest point yet. Um, this is like three years ago. I've pitched 800 shows in my life, never gotten an inch, never gotten anywhere. Finally, I pitch a show. Someone, this production company buys it. They go, you got to come out to LA. We'll fly you out. Pitch the show to Netflix, uh, Hulu, all that shit, Amazon. And I go, oh my God, we made a deck. We made a pro, <laughs> like a big visual aid thing to pitch. Yeah. So I fly out to LA. I fly out a day early and Sam Tripoli, I don't know if you know him. Mm-hmm. He has this sure. show and he gives you a ton of weed. 
like as a gift bag yeah. I mean, if you do the show. And I was like, I don't really like weed. He's like, well, just take it, the CBD in there. And I go, oh, all right, I like CBD. <laughs> so I go home that night preparing, ready for my big day tomorrow. Five pitches in one day. I got to wake up at like 7 a.m., get out to Malibu or Santa Monica, whatever the fuck it is. So I go, let me take a bunch of CBD and get a good night's sleep. Uh-huh. It's weed. I must have taken nine jillion milligrams. <laughs> I go to bed and I wake up after like a half hour and I'm like, and I thought the bed was like this. Yeah, I was sliding off the bed like that. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so high. And I remember hugging the uh, the, the leg of the bed because I thought I was falling off the earth. And I tried to make myself puke. I couldn't do it. I stayed up all night just being high, just oh flipping out. God. Hated every minute of it. My agent comes by. He's like, hey, I'm here to pick you up. And I go, I can't go. And he's like, <laughs> he's in the lobby. I was like, I can't go. I can't go. And he's like, I'm coming up there. I'm dragging your ass down. We're selling this show. He comes up and he sees me and he's like, we can't go. We can't go. <laughs> he sat with me and we, he gave me water. I missed the whole thing. Oh my and we God. Lost the show. No, no shit. Way. Well, they were like, hey, he didn't uh, show up. Fuck this guy. <laughs> oh, oh no. Damn, it dude. lasted like a, the whole rest of the day. Yeah. Nightmare. Nightmare. Oh, oh have you done fuck. it since? That would be one of those like, you I'll tried, that's, that's a lowest moment situation where you just go, I'm, I think I'm never going to have uh, no. edibles ever again. Not only yeah, should yeah. you have tried, you would have like sold seven. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. But I couldn't even go out to the leave the hotel room. Oh, yeah, there's that deep power. Not to mention the, because I feel like you also get uh, edibles are also synonymous, I guess more being too high synonymous with like imposter syndrome too. But I feel like anytime I'm on a lot of edibles, I'll I'll be, especially if I'm watching TV and I'm watching actors and someone's like not great. If someone's not good at acting, then I go like, Oh, that would be me if I yeah. did acting. So, what am I doing with that? That would be me. You start That's to, so start funny, to dude. Because like, you do that thing first of going, oh, that person sucks at acting. And you go, wait, but they're probably better than me. Then I, I, I don't act that much. I and love that it goes to self hatred. Like, yeah. yeah it's, it's like there's the, the imposter syndrome of being like, I couldn't. Why do I think I could do It's being like me seeing someone play basketball and be like, I could do that. And you're like, why would I think I could do acting at a high level like that? It's right. Amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. You should be looking at it high going, I could fucking do this shit. Yeah. <laughs> and yet. Yeah. Um, the highest I've ever been was in college in Geneseo. I had not, I just like started smoking. It was sporadic at best. And I went and I smoked bongs with my buddies. And, you know, at this point I'm like kind of catching up and I'm feeling like I'm a pro at this. I can head to class high. I'm right. totally fine. So we took bong loads, smoked the entire whatever. And I broke out into a like crazy cold sweat. Mm. Just started having like <clears throat> insane panic. I threw up oh. in their garbage, missed my once a week bio lab that was worth like 11% <laughs> of my grade. Right. I was like <laughs> awful at the class as is. So I'm just like, well, that's that. I had to drop it. Yeah. And then I went to the cafeteria with a bunch of my friends and I was just kind of like in in constant like fear of nuclear war position yeah. <laughs> like the entire time. And then one of the, this girl who was just routinely like just a bummer an absolute, any good vibe that could be happened. She is a fucking table saw right. yeah. to that. And she came over and she's like, Oh, Hey Mike, how's it going with her shitty uh, upstate New York uh, accent? Yeah, yeah. And like, Oh, what are you eating there? You got some chicken fingers. How's it going? Oh, and she's no. like, are they good? And was I she, like just, trying to mama you like, kinda, like oh, yeah, is he too high yes uh, a little bit of both little, but also, and then also a little bit of like <laughs> yes, a little right. bit of that, that and sucks. i had in like austin powers fashion had no control over the volume of my voice <laughs> yeah because i just in i meant to answer in one way and i was just like they're good like scream <laughs> at her in the middle of the thing i ran out of there wow and i just went back to my dorm closed the door and just you know weathered the storm for a day see oh, yeah. thinking of bad high moments like i think the first time that i actually got Got high was when I, I was alone and I had I had smoked because I had hours before my mom was gonna come home and so I had like just smoked a bowl I didn't know what I I had a water bed in high school I was uh, yeah it was, my parents had a water bed I went from a up. I went from a car bed like when I was a kid to a water bed I yeah. never had like a mattress <laughs> your was, parents were like we're gonna get this kid's dick sucked no matter what. oh dude it was a constant <laughs> I will tell you this. Women in high school, very, very intrigued by the waterbed. Yeah, just sure. Had, sure. Had, I'm intrigued by it now. Yeah. yeah. I'm 42. It's, it's like having a DeLorean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who is this You got to see what it's about. <laughs> you, put yeah. the, you put the waterbed on like 85 degrees, and then you have the I AC on. I always forget it's the, temperature control. It's hot. You have the hot forget. water on wow. your back and nice cold AC blowing. Oh, it's it's the just, best. That's amazing. You that's can sleep with the window open in winter. It's the best. Wow. And so, 
And it just uh, but you, well, yeah. What's the winter like? Yeah, you can't fuck on that thing. You well, you can't get a rhythm. A very it, that's, you now you don't get any. any now, <laughs> what people true. don't anticipate, you do get a good rhythm, but you can't do any missionary. You can't prop yourself yeah. up. Nah. It all has to kind of be Dude. seventy-seven side. Yeah, in the winter, do you like jump on the bed and just <laughs> like, <laughs> like oh, it froze, <laughs> no, man? No, it's got a <laughs> um, <laughs> if you fuck a fat chick, you have experience though, because you're like, I'm used to this. Yeah, the rolls. Yeah, yeah, you got to go with the ocean. <laughs> she lays down, you flop on top of her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, so I was, I was smoking weed in the water bed. I had like, my buddy had given me like a little, like you almost like crack weed pipe. in your house. When you were the first time I ever, the first time I ever got high, I smoked. I closed my door, put a towel in the thing, opened all the windows in my, in my room and was smoking, drew the blinds, put on Pink Floyd. Cause I thought of that's course. what you had to do. Yep. And I was sitting there just being like, oh, I don't know. And then I felt it in my eyes and I'm like, uh Oh, yes. I'm getting wiggly. And then I, and I'm exploring my room. I'm listening to the music. I love it. And I like look out my window and like my mom is not only like, she wasn't supposed to be home for hours. She was not only in the driveway, but like out of the car walking into the house. And I had that thing of like, Oh, I didn't like, I didn't, I didn't, I had to quickly, you know, I, yeah. I couldn't clean up. There was just smoke everywhere. It was yeah. terrible. And then she was like, come down and help me with oh, groceries. Brute. So now I'm uh, like, I got to be. And like, you smell like weed and probably. I'm very high for the first time. Like absolutely like legs are like accordions kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and nice. I go downstairs. I, she's bought the most stuff from Home Depot ever. So now I'm sweating. And then she's like trying to talk to me about how beautiful the flowers are she in starts the backyard. Going, you guys, you smell that? Dude, what is she, that? I just eventually was, I was so high. I, she, I, I, whatever the question she was, I answered in a way that she went, what? Uh, and I went, ah, I have a migraine. And then I went to bed uh, <laughs> for like the night. But it was, boy, that's the worst fear. Yeah. yeah. Oh, high. man. One time I came home on ecstasy and my mom <laughs> and I had to I had to walk past my mom to get to my room. And you started she's, sucking she, her tits. And, I just start, <laughs> yeah, and just we just rub, started fucking. You just dude. rubbed your nipples. <laughs> hey, mom. Yeah. We just started going at it. Uh, and and I'm she's like, come back, come down. Talk to me. What's going on? How was your night? And I'm like, it's good, you know. And I'm I'm literally going. <laughs> I'm literally going like that. I'm I'm air drumming and doing the sounds. And she goes, worst nightmare of your life. She goes, are you on drugs? She asked me if I was on drugs. Oh my god! And I went, no, I'm just in a good mood. Let me put that. Right. <laughs> no. She's like, why are you holding a glow stick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have those those gloves with the lights. Yeah, on. Oh, yeah. like don't you hear the song? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> dude, that's so funny, man. Yeah, uh, I've had a lot of times my mom called me. She caught us smoking weed in the room. My mom called me, and uh, she opened the door, and we were smoking weed. But she goes, she goes. Are you smoking? And I'm like, Mom, Mom, Mom. She goes, You're smoking cigarettes in here. <laughs> and I was like, No. And then I went up to her room. My mom was crying about it oh, uh, on the uh, bed. And we had this weirdly kind of like erotic. Like I sat next what? to her and I was like, oh, I, was like oh, no. I swear, Mom, I promise I would never hurt you. Like something like that. Like I said oh. that. <laughs> Like some like weird fucking. Like, you know what you need, mom? Some Molly. <laughs> <laughs> I got some. Yeah. Jeez. Um, all right. This question is from Tanya. If you were forced into gladiatorial combat. <laughs> now, that was my lowest point. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that. The G's. The, the, I was like, geez. So much in there. All right. If you were forced into gladiatorial combat, but you could only choose a weapon that isn't typically considered a a weapon mm. what non-conventional weapon would you choose oh man you know i'd go with the club yeah. remember the yeah. club on a yeah. car oh yeah. yeah i used to fuck with that thing all oh, day long yeah. i love it's got a good weight to it it's very it's heavy. hard as a rock it I'd also extends a little yes. bit yes you could oh. lock their wrist in place and kind oh of that's scorpion cool yeah well then they realize they can just do this yeah not if you lock it that's on a wheel i know but you turn the key oh, okay yeah <laughs> i was always a big fan of the uh uh, uh, pool balls in a sock. Oh, wow. interesting. Wow. Bang. That yeah. would, that would yeah. destroy someone's face. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It was, Just it'd be like getting kicked by a horse. Yeah. Been there. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, what could I use to, to kill some, but I mean, gladiatorial combat too. You need something with distance. I feel right. like is what the best. Now I've never heard this word gladiatorial. Yeah. Same. I don't think it exists. It we works. Think it, I think it's gladiatorial. Oh boy, Nicole, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> she's long gone. Gladiatorial. Damn. Oh. Oh. Damn. All right. Well done, Tanya. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, so interesting it's lady question. Off. This feels very yeah. high dude, like 11-year-old boy yeah. question. Yeah. yeah. Tanya yeah. and I have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> you both take 100 milligram edibles? I think so. Yeah, she messages me all the time. She's like, you and me, we get it. Oh. Yeah. And you don't tell her I have a wife. Stop messaging me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's <laughs> It's going to be a big problem. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. I would like to use some sort of like cleaning product. You know what I mean? What? Where I could kind of, yeah, look, like I'm 409 or something? Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Tickle yeah. Them yeah. Them. He's got a Swiffer. <laughs> like, a, like a poison, like, yeah, add in some, like, some bleach. Yeah, I, if you're bleach. fighting dogs, a vacuum might work or something. Uh. Like, <laughs> 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 that would be funny if I, if you, if we went into a, a, a gladiatorial like fight and, and we both came out of our respective cages, let's see them up, and you come up with your sock full of pool balls and then I go, mm -hmm. I'm like, and sort of moving towards you, you'd be a little bit like, what else does that What's do? What's in the bag? Yeah. How many BTUs was in that vacuum? <laughs> yeah. Really powerful. Get him, Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just keeps bumping into his leg. He's like, come on. Come on. Get away, <laughs> Get away from me. Uh, I do Weed Whacker. Oh, weed Whacker is oh, good. That's shit. really good. Yeah, that's that's yeah. my answer Dude. now. Is that. <laughs> That's my only. I would answer. love Ugh. to see a fight between pool balls in a sock and a weed whacker. I yeah, think would be it wouldn't be right. close Good. because because Patreon. You, because it's further away the weed whacker. <laughs> unless you're throwing no, them, you can hit the weed whacker. Yeah, and then it goes like that, and then when you when he's like this and he's trying to come back kick here's what i think though as you come up with the weed whacker and the pool balls blocking it it after the first time the socks are going to get frayed and well the balls both are gonna weapons are going to be the lost stipulation is it has to be one of brendan's socks and those are already worn out so by the time he swings yeah. Life, <laughs> they're, those balls yeah, they're like flying. these balls smell terrible uh, but the dry jizz when I <laughs> yeah. it, it's like a crunch yeah. Yeah. yeah like it's like a flex seal like yeah. you would. <laughs> um <laughs> also speaking of flex seal leave a five star review View. If you haven't, thank you guys very much for uh, watching. You didn't even to try the on that channel. One. <laughs> I just, I felt like uh, we had to get into it, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, go to the YouTube channel, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, say something nice in there, and tell your friends. I yeah. guess that's about the good thing. And uh, right. Mark, what do you got to promote? Oh, hey, uh, when's this come out? This comes out in two weeks. All uh, right, well, 19th. I'm on the road, MarkNormanComedy.com, and I'm going to Australia. Nice. Back nice. over to the land out under. So uh, get some tickets, check it out. Have you been out there? I have. I did the Melbourne Comedy Fest. Oh, nice. This is like Perth, Adelaide. I'm doing wow, the whole run. Awesome. So nice. pretty, pretty pumped. Yeah. Um, and then Tuesday Stories, We Might Be Drunk podcast. Check it out. Oh, that fun. weather is going to be great, too. You think? I think so, yeah. Well, it's the opposite. When are you going? Isn't it? June. So that's their winter. That ah! But yeah. that probably means it's beautiful. Yeah. Nicole? It's their winter over there. <laughs> Nicole? <laughs> oh, look at the weather in Australia. Was, yeah. In June. In June. Is it, unless they call it December. I no. That'd be so funny if you get the, like, welcome December 6th. You're like, no, you can't do that too. <laughs> yeah. Um, Show up on black. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and check us out individually on the road and stuff and keep coming out and supporting us and uh, gotta telling your that, friends about the show. We got to promote that tape in uh, New Jersey as well. In September. That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, sometime next year. <laughs> uh, in September, we're going to be at the Algonquin <laughs> Theater down near uh, Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Tickets are on Three sale. Three of us. That. Tickets are on sale um we're not being held under you know any pressure to say this this far out but uh <laughs> yeah tickets are at all of our individual websites and it's gonna be a great show half stand up half live pod hell yeah algonquin theater mm -hmm. nice yeah uh mikefinneycomedy.com for right. dates and uh youtube.com slash Mike Finney comedy uh you, you yeah Mike Cannon comedy i'm on the road i'm in rhode, rhode island uh charlotte north carolina uh yeah, MikeCannonComedy.com. A lot of stuff. Both of those. Nicole. <laughs> Nicole C. Lines on Instagram. There we go. Let's All do right. it. Uh, Let's get into it. A couple more of these bad boys here. These are great questions. Right? They're they, great. They get, they get They're very, really good. They get very inventive. Uh, okay, like this. Alex the Truck, love this. If you woke up as a chimpanzee in mm. the middle of New York, mm. what would you do? Interesting. 
climb now. <laughs> yeah, just start, climb. just start climbing. What about Empire State. <laughs> oh no, it's real. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just start climbing. Just start climbing. Get out of there. That's kind of the only answer. Yeah, it's but, either that or pull a few arms off and then start. No, climbing. Well, right, see now, right, here's yeah, what I was a couple of you faces. Can't be, yeah. You can't immediately go to violence because you'll be <laughs> shot by the military. You're gonna get shot within anyway. moments. Listen, You're gonna die gonna, by bullets. I'm eventually, not, they're killing you. Now, I like the idea of kind of scaling, doing some climbing yeah. onto some fire escapes right. and then doing those things where you just kind of like go past the windows real fast, do that uh, six, like in the movie, this uh, Sixth Sense, you know, where you just kind of do the alien walk okay. by, but with the chimpanzee right. and people go, is there a chimpanzee, chimpanzee, on the, chimpanzee on the on the fire escape there? Just fuck around with people enough time and then rip some faces and arms off. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stay clear of some neighborhoods that might like pr- imprison you. What does that I would mean? Think. <laughs> what neighborhoods? You know, you know, uptown. I anyway, get you. <laughs> down. I think just go fucking full ham and just start driving a cab <laughs> just to throw people off. Like, yeah, how like how knowledgeable are we? Yes. Are, we are we like are we like half human, half? Oh, you have have my human brain? brain. I think you yeah, have your do I have brain. My brain. You okay. have your chimpanzee brain. Oh. You've woken up like in a Zac Efron movie. You've woken up and now you're a then I'm go- I'm doing my pride. spots that night and not even uh, mentioning it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just sitting. When am I going up? Yeah. Scratching my ass. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then you turn into a chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> uh Mark, what about you? What would you do? Well, I was saying I would just do human shit and just like like steal a <laughs> steal a pizza pizza. You know, <laughs> slap a lady. Yeah. You know, get a yeah. construction hat on and like start drilling. <laughs> yeah. like, I'd go full New York shit. Go to a Mets game. <laughs> yeah. What is a way to steal money? What's a way to like con people in this? You can rob. How people? can you make? You can swing by, grab the purses. Purse. Yeah. Plus, by. Most, most of them. What will... am I swinging on? Yeah, I feel like you My think Spider Man is Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hang kiss upside Mary down. Kiss Mary Jane. You, yeah, you do yeah. hot, hot kisses upside down. Yeah, and then you. But yeah, you can, you can, he can jump and kind of catch on to do the you? tree line. There's I trees everywhere. So. Do you go to a Bronx Zoo and have no. sex with another monkey? Uh, just to see I what think it's that's like. no. If anything, maybe I lead. Up. Maybe I lead the rebellion. Maybe I open the tent. Oh, you're fucking Caesar. Yeah, I'm planning. I am Caesar. Interesting, Caesar. Free? <laughs> Isn't that what he says in the? Okay, we're gonna start now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Tanya, if you could go back and hands down win any argument you've had with anyone, wow, what argument would you choose to win? Mm. That is, you know, such a good question. Every argument you lose, you learn something about yourself, though. So none. That's my answer. Uh-huh. But what if you learned you're a loser? Oh. At arguing. <laughs> That's like every argument I have. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> I bet this Nicole. chick, in ni- yeah, I got into a fight with this girl in 93 that OJ was a murderer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Damn. It's so, there's so many. I don't that care that much so, about winning. Yeah, but there argument. are those arguments you have in your life where you like right after it ends, you're like, ah, oh, I could have said this, and I should have said that, and this yeah. would have been a checkmate, and then I could have brought up the divorce. But he, but what's good about that is that over time, you can just convince yourself that that's what happened. Yeah, right. you know what I yeah. mean. You're like, I pretty Mike much has won. never lost an argument. Never. In his, never. In that's why I, I'm scrolling through, and I'm like, no, I actually did damage everywhere I went. <laughs> yeah, fifteen hundred and oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. Yeah, there's no argument. I mean, it's like it is what it is. I'd rather like what I argument- like spelling like when you're like that. No, because it's funny that I can't spell. No, but when you're like, it's stupid that it's spelled that way. What if we were like, no, you idiot. And then you're like, no, it actually is spelled like that. And now we're dumb. Oh, I you lost me, dude. I don't Speaking know. Very slowly <laughs> <laughs> and plainly. Not slow enough. I guess not. you said too many of the same words. It's clear that this person just lost a huge argument. <laughs> <laughs> Putting this on us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What could you tell my dumb bitch of a wife <laughs> yeah. when she doesn't let you get a car? Well, that's the thing. It's like if it was a big argument in my relationship, then it would probably still be a festering, lingering problem. Yeah, yeah. Right. and that wouldn't. Uh, I don't just see wouldn't it even being be a, relationship a relationship thing. like that. I yeah. see. It. I see it being with like an, an enemy or somebody, even like a road rage thing or something yeah. like that, you know? I mean, I guess that one, I kind of, I definitely lost that argument. I tell it, I told the story on the podcast where I, some guy was trying to merge and in, uh, instead of letting him in because he was being an asshole, I continued to go. Mm. He flipped me off. I flipped him off and like faked blowing something and then I hit the car in front of me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. That's yeah. when you got to want yeah, back. Yeah, right. yeah. I want that one. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Yeah. I want that's that for you. So that's fine. <laughs> that's the one. Is that in the act? No, I, oh, it just gold. happened. Yeah. That's gold. <laughs> um, Robert V. 2001. 
What character would you be in the Mario Super Mario universe? Uh, I want to see that movie. Okay. <laughs> They're making a new movie? Yeah. Oh, the animated. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm picturing uh, <laughs> Liguizamo. Well, like, I'm like, what do you live on a fucking rock? <laughs> trying to be nice. Live though. on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if you lived on a rock, you wouldn't know much about we, the world we either. Do. We do. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and I still don't know that much. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, um, who would you be? Who would Brendan? Brendan has, you have uh, the Super Mario Diddy movie Kong? with John Leguizamo. You have the, Is Kirby and Mario? You have the Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you have the Bowser. No. You have, uh, Dennis, uh, Dennis Hopper in Super Mario. Oh, I have that hair. Yeah, like the, you have that hair. That's so funny, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that movie was pretty bad, actually. Sure, yeah, so sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, but this is a big world, though. We're talking. We're talking Luigi. We're talking Waluigi. Oh, yeah, boy. a Wario, <laughs> and that's where I stop. Yes. This Wario. is a big world. We're talking Waluigi. I want to be Yoshi because Yoshi's always he, he kind of goes and does his own thing. And then when he every time he shows up, everyone's like Yoshi. You're oh, always yeah. no pumped one is when Yoshi disappointed shows up. with a Yoshi. True. Uh, mm. Well, you got Toad. You got Princess. You got. Uh, Wario. Nobody wants to be Wario. Toad. Though. Is King Kong? Or, I mean, Donkey, Donkey Kong? Kong. Donkey Kong. You're thinking of Mario Kart. I don't know Kart. nothing about this, dude. <laughs> Donkey Kong is, is that Donkey Kong's a good answer. Yeah. Is that is he no, in but it? He's not in, he's in Super Mario. He's in. Yeah. Yes, Mario. he is. He's in the movie. He's, he's in the he's in the video the game. New Donkey Kong. The first appearance of Donkey Kong had Mario in it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at me. All right. So you're just throwing barrels at people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's I can me. see that. That's me. Not bad. It was one of those moments where I just caught what I was saying, and I was like, oh, what a fucking asshole. Can I be the Mario when he's dressed up as a raccoon? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. yeah. Flying Mario. Yeah. yeah. I never, what was that called? Was that super? Like was that him going super? Squirrel suit, I think it was called. Yeah, I think so. The squirrel suit. Yeah. That was the best part. That was the only part that gave me hope. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, because I, about I didn't have balls? video games, oh, and, in, yeah. and we do rotations on regular Nintendo, and me having no idea how to play would play for one and a half seconds, <laughs> yeah. lose Fall immediately, the and then be like, all right, see you in 10 turns. Well, yeah. I remember that. never learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> it was Dude, fucking awful. I remember when you first could fly, they give you the cape in Super Mario. Yes. You had to like run, 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 and then you jump, and you're yeah, like, it's very happening. cool. Yeah. It's very happening. cool yes. move. That was a very fun moment. I think being Bowser would be pretty cool, too. Oh, yeah. uh, that's a good one. Although he's always destined to lose. Yeah. True. But it's so badass. He's got a castle. He's doing pretty well. Yeah. Um, Alex the truck, if you were if you were the Holy Virgin Mary, how would you explain to your, your unnatural pregnancy to Joseph? I mean, what if the story she told I think she did a pretty good job. Pretty, you yeah. have to start talking religion or something. You can't be like, yeah. I think I was drugged. It's like right? and then impregnated. It's like Walter White's fugue state. You just have to completely yeah. commit. This is what happened. Inexplicable. Whatever. You tell them you That's have cancer. What it is. Yeah. Tell yeah. them I've cancer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh. This is a, a lymph node. <laughs> Either that or just claim rape. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But I don't know. Back in that day, if that was, I don't think rape was a term. No, they would have been like, oh, like... let's continue our business as usual. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> oh, they got you, huh, Mayor? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would Run be. I, I think it would actually yeah. go further than that. I think it would be like the, how dare you? You're unclean. Now we kill you, kind of a thing. Because oh, you're like a stain. Oh, yeah, you become like a like a scarlet letter, witch as kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. So the question is, if you got pregnant without fucking the husband, what would your lie be? How would you lie? Mm, well, I would yeah, be. Hers is good. Yeah. I, I think you could just be like, no, no, this is yours. Right? Yeah. If we're like, hey, we hadn't, we haven't fucked in six months. Yes, but you do jerk off onto the toilet. Aha. Uh -huh. yes. And then just say, or, I sat in it. Or go, hey, you know, if you didn't drink so much wine, then maybe you would remember that we had sex on Tuesday. Yeah. Oh. It was very special. Tuesday, BC. And then you can just, <laughs> <laughs> then you just go, if I didn't, then how did I get this then, huh? Yeah. How did I get this? Uh, well, what do you think? God just put this in my body, <laughs> idiot. You yeah. think this is the Messiah coming out of me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know why it's exactly six months until AD, but yeah. uh, I've got bad news. <laughs> Our son is Jewish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oi! Um, uh, okay. Tanya. Christ on a cross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, uh, Kanye. It's fucking hilarious. He says that. He's like, what does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> no one knows yet. It feels right. Uh, uh, Tanya, you get, uh, you get one text, no more than 160 characters that gets sent to everyone's phone. What does it say? Can't be promo. Can't be promo. Yeah. Already, already got it. Like saying like, brendanzagalo.com. 
Mm. Oh, like can't send okay. that to oh, mine would be Bush did 9 11. Yeah. Ooh. Just send that to everyone. <laughs> everyone. Every person. That's right. George Bush does just not a, care about black people. Just a just a blanket, vague, Bush no evidence or like, like not even like a click here to see no. the real truth. That just wouldn't a, even. Just a you, you just, find. Just a confident <laughs> statement from an asshole. Yeah, just just <laughs> yeah. follow the that money. That, yeah. I don't even think that would stop anybody in their tracks. They'd be no. like, oh, I got to spam. That, you know what? <laughs> right. I, I, now, my would be fine. Follow the money because oh. that would send mm. half of the world into like this spiral thinking that it was just like a matrix esque right. red pill, like, oh fuck, I'm Get gonna out quit my now. job and follow this. What does that mean? Well, what happened? A lot of people yeah, what out. happened in, in the matrix in that scene, in the cubicle scene? What was the text he got or something? He got a call. There were like two men are coming in right now. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, 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 yeah. I would have, I would send out the text that just says "turn around" and just laugh That's at everyone good. going. That's good. And it, the whole world turning around. So the whole world is text. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I would say you were right. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, Imagine that solves is it's right. world peace. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, you know what? I've been waiting to hear that. Simultaneously yeah. affirmed. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Everybody thinks it's world peace because everybody thinks that the they're other right. people yes. are ones. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, it's like, <laughs> but it doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's turn. some good writing. That is some good writing. You know, it could be think. fun too. Is uh, hey, this is Andrew Tate. And they're like, <laughs> shit. Why is Andrew Tate contacting me? Yeah, but there's there's like text messages and DMs from people being like, "This is Madonna. I need four hundred dollars to make my true. album." Yeah, good point. Mm. Good question. I told you about that random. I got a random DM like from 09. I don't know how it even surfaced in my Twitter, but it was from Aziz, and it said, "You want me dead." Whoa! <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck did I tweet a Z's in '09?" Like, oh my know? god! god. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I write back in all capitals? Yes, <laughs> um, but it wasn't him. I don't. No, it know. was him. Oh, it oh, may it, have been. How did you know it was a Z's then? It was from his verified account. Mm. <laughs> but I think, but there was no previous correspondence, and I couldn't even contact him after it. So I had no you. idea what it was, what it was referred to. Like, nothing. he must have said something somewhere. But I was a huge. I was that, back in '09 was when I was a fan. You were, you were I'm a, still. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he great. thought you what? were Nick you, Cannon. You were, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Damn, dude, yeah. that's hilarious. Have you ever brought that up to him? I've never spoken a word to him. I think that would be worth the convo. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, by the way, I want you to die. Yeah, remember me? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do you have a weed whacker in your hand? <laughs> if I ever see Dane Cook, I'll have to address him. Dane Cook me. has him blocked on everything. On really? Media. Yeah. Did you shit on him or something? I not really. I made a I made a video where it, it's he's referenced in it, but not even in like a in any of the ways he would hate, I think. Like it's not none of the like joke thief or like any of that stuff that people don't like him for it's just i just kind of made uh i don't know i i made a thing of cutting up and editing a fake interview with trump this was in like 2015 of him being like saying that he loves dane cook essentially it was Mm. pro it was pro dane Cook. i love dane cook from trump's perspective (laughs) and it got me blocked on everything media, which at least lets me know i'm like hey watch it yeah (laughs) that's pretty cool that's true the sufi the super finger (laughs) i love it (laughs) (laughs) superman joke can't beat it. <laughs> um, Kool Aid Man. <laughs> but it was, uh, yeah, very, uh, very. It is fun when you have weird interactions with people who were. You're right, bro. Just, <laughs> just, just regretting. I'm like, yeah, you guys can keep in going. Trump, but, yeah. Dude, Trump I knew just it. Fucking, he wanted to go forever, and I thankfully, can... all of us looked at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was happy we all moved on, but I could not. I was still laughing at it. <laughs> Uh, have you guys had any interaction? Like, have you had any awkward? Oh, dude, can you please tell your Dave Chappelle meeting? Because I've been telling everybody Ooh, that story, and it's it. one of the funniest things I've oh, ever heard. Oh yeah, in my life. yeah. But what? I forget. I remember it crystal clear. Tell it. Uh, what least, year? Just this is like this, uh, four weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> wow. yeah, yeah. Like, oh wow. Or whenever he was, uh, probably like a couple months ago. But yeah. yeah, when I was in the back, he was at the them. at the the cellar, and you know when. When when Dave's at the cellar, he's very cordial. He's very friendly, oh, yeah. and he does yeah. like he introduced himself to me. And you know, he does the like, "Hi, I'm Dave." Like he, as if you don't know That's who right. he is, yeah. he he introduces himself, which yeah. is very nice of him to do. You know, Not hi, I'm pres- Dave Chappelle, but you already knew that. <laughs> yeah, see, now that would be almost like a, yeah, you know. Um, 
But Cannon, yeah. when he goes up to Cannon, Cannon, I really I, thought, I thought this was going to be a big. Thing I think too. it's a killer bit. He goes, "Hi, I'm Dave," and Mike goes, "Dan." Oh, <laughs> that's great. great. And then that's he goes, great. "Huh?" And I'm like, "Uh." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you had one shot and you blew it. <laughs> yeah. just he immediately away. folded, didn't commit to the bit. Just like, no, I'm just I'm Mike. Uh, uh, nice yeah. to meet you, big fan. Uh, <laughs> just completely Sorry. wilted. What is that weird when comics don't get jokes? Yeah, so oh, weird. I did a similar thing to a uh, Keenan Ivory Wayans. Oh, oh shit. Yes. He was uh, the judge of uh, Last Comic Stand. Yeah. Him, Roseanne, and Russell Peters. Oh, yeah. And they were like, good job, good job. And he was like, I didn't love it. And I said, thanks, Damon. And he was like, <laughs> it's Keenan. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, you chooch. But you don't get it? Yeah. yeah. Shouldn't See, he was disrespectful as a joke? Yeah. That's, how, that's how the jokes work. You that's know? insane. That's in- What about you? Oh, well. Have I had a weird experience with a celebrity? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Every time a celebrity is near me, <laughs> oh, it becomes that same thing fucking ha- news. Oh, yeah. It's Amy Schumer. 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 Yeah. Schumer oh, interrupting yeah. Again. Gaffigan. <laughs> what happened with him? Oh. I kind of caused him to <laughs> never work at New York Comedy Club ever Shut again. Up. No, yeah, it he... wasn't like per- 100% my fault. It was but <laughs> quite I was serendipitous. A, I was a gear in the in the machine cog? in the cog i was a uh-huh. cog in the machine well he like came in i was hosting at new york a couple of years ago and uh should <laughs> like i even should I not tell this <laughs> no this is a yeah. funny story and uh here we go <laughs> uh, you don't <laughs> have to tell me no, i'll it. tell it i'll tell it gavin don't give a next fuck. up uh, next week on this, <laughs> yeah get ready to have the man Honest- ripped off of who you think he is yeah oh. no i know he wasn't even wrong uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> he wasn't even wrong you know <laughs> Totally good guy. Uh, no, what happened was uh, I was hosting the show and um, he they he was stopping in and he had called them and told them or I'm stopping in. But there was a very awkward timing where like he had just walked in, but I had given Ari the light already uh-huh. and it had been going on. So I was like, what do we do? And I was like, do I bring him right up or was I like, sh- let him relax. Maybe off. he can wait like whatever 10 minutes for after the next comic so i bring the next comic up Uh-oh. and it kind of made him like okay and then the manager what didn't really uh you know didn't have like um did just didn't know and was like jim do you mind because uh judah's got to get out of here so do you mind waiting and that's when jim was like oh, yeah. are you fucking kidding me are you fucking kidding me so you know <laughs> it is what it is but i kind of yeah. did it words were said i'm things, sure if i just brought him have, up things that have rang through the halls of comedy of uh, specific, yeah which i'll not specific yeah, lines not that people that. have said to people but let's just uh, say we all have gotten angry and said Sure. Some crazy shit. Unforgivable. Called, some, called someone a retard here or there. You know, it happens, dude. Yeah. It fucking happens. That was a it was a all time <laughs> slam though. Yeah, um, it was it's a great slam. I guess we shouldn't say it. And we'll never say it. Mm. Uh, later, I want to hear Bam it Margera. I went to go. Oh, yeah. I went to go. Uh, oh, yeah. I, uh, Bam Bam agreed to do my podcast when I had a solo podcast, and that was the the <laughs> night he flipped out at Westside Comedy Club. I didn't even know he was there. Smack, yeah. he, so he he was yeah. doing shows like he was on tour, and he was <laughs> he was do, this was a couple years ago. He was doing uh, like a storytelling tour, and he'd like talk about Jackass and everything. He goes to Westside Comedy Club. His manager, I had I had paid for a cameo to ask him to do my podcast, uh, and he answered. And he's like, he's like, hey Brandon, what's going on? Is Bam Marge here? I'd love to do your podcast, you know, like shit like that. Yeah, and now, he's like, I'll be at the West Side Comedy Club at blah blah blah. Well, blah. we didn't know at the time, but we know now with the uh, beauty of uh, hindsight is that he was. All, it was just about at his rock bottom in terms <laughs> of his rampant drug yeah. and alcohol use. He'd been at bottom. See, but yeah. he was like He's bouncing off the bottom yeah. pretty hard. And right. this night, I think, was kind of one of the things that sent him to... Well, rehab. it was put on TMZ and everybody was like, check out Bam RJ. Now it's like Bam but R- you show Bam is as common as school shootings. So like you seeing show him up. Like, <laughs> have like get in trouble yeah, in public. Ever, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you show up, massive fan of him since I'm a day big one. Fan. You're I'm a like, big fan of you're like got your shoes I on, got, nice. I you're... got my little recording thing. I'm ready to do my little podcast. He comes in with a. Uh, it looks like twelve. Uh, who, who was that rapper? Six nine with oh, the yeah. rainbow hair. They all had that, and he comes in two hours before the show starts. Mm. 
and is like, where is everybody? And his tour manager is like, well, you know, it's two hours before the show. You wanted to get here early. And he was like, where the fuck is everybody? Why isn't there anyone here? He, you know, he's like, Whoa. he's like, this is fucking, you said this was going to be bad. I want a vodka soda now. And the guy screaming at everybody. Wow. At everybody. He's screaming at everybody. And then he goes, and I'm sitting with, with, my, little, <laughs> with my little recorder thing, like my, my headphones on. <laughs> As he's screaming at everybody, I'm like slowly <laughs> trying to get out of there. I'm yeah. taking the headphones off. I'm like, you know, and he goes, he goes, fuck you. This is really funny. He goes, fuck you. Fuck. He's saying fuck you to his friends. He's like, fuck you. Fuck you. He's calling people fat fucks. He's like, you fat fuck. Fuck you. Fuck. And then he sees me and like half baked. He's like, and then he goes, fuck uh, you. Fuck little girl, girl, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like he signs my face. Yeah. <laughs> then, so I finally kind of sneak out and I have all my stuff and I'm waiting in the lobby. He Bus open the the doors to the lobby of Westside Comedy Club. He's going. He's going. I want a vodka soda now. And his his tour manager takes like a minute to get it. Yeah. And he's like, fuck this. I want to go home. I want to go home. Right. We get the Ranger. Whoa. Get the Ranger. He his his tour manager is desperately trying to keep him there. He's like, bam, please. People paid tickets. Uh, there. It's gonna. It's two hours. <laughs> it's two hours to the show. Yeah. Please. Punches his tour manager in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the, the guy's like, ah, he's like totally bitched out. Oh, ah. my God. Uh, then oh he, my he God. trashing the place, pushing everybody there. Now a line is starting to form of early fans. Oh, okay, like people. Okay. Two kids have a Bam Margera <laughs> skate deck oh in their hands. God. They're watching him flip out. He's already punched his tour manager. They've seen it all. <laughs> he's throwing shit. Ugh. To his professionality, professionality, he walks. Editorial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's punching things. He's breaking stuff. Sees the deck, beelines it to this skateboard deck, and everyone's like, "There's that this vibe." Is of, he gonna punch he's the gonna, kid? <laughs> he's gonna break this deck. Yeah. He's breaking everything. He's yeah. gonna break the deck. It's like right there. Why wouldn't you just crack? Yeah. Grabs it. Signs it, <laughs> gives it back to the kid, and then goes upstairs. And a rainbow, one of his friends, comes down the stairs. He goes up five minutes. <laughs> He's punching everything. He's, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. He came down and went. He's fighting everybody. <laughs> And, and everyone ran upstairs and I was like, I'm not going to. And then <laughs> Gina at Westside was like, I don't know what the fuck we're going to do. People pay tickets. And I called a bunch of comics and we put on a show. Hey, and then, yeah. But did, did you address that they didn't like that? He wasn't coming and that he's been arrested. Yeah, I, I, I talked mad shit about that, about him on stage, just being like, just nagging him a little bit. Because everybody was pissed. Everybody yeah, was like, you know, yeah. so I'm like, yeah, of course. What did you guys expect? Yeah. You Dang know, you're getting well, tickets to this that shit. One kid's like, but I got this side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those were the same kids that filmed it for TMZ and they sent it. Oh, and, wow. And I was talking to them. Oh, no. And this they could, betrayed him. This could be a total lie, but I asked them <laughs> how much they got for that tape and they said five grand. Okay. For the tape. That's so, a good I, would, I think that would be worth that because yeah. it's so yeah. hard to find a celebrity fight. I would fight. sell my hero down the river for 200 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't give a fuck, dude. Just for, just for You'd sell tag. Cosby down the river? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, TMZ, this guy, Dan Chappelle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, he didn't get it either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't that have been great, though, during all of that if you just stuck a microphone in and that <laughs> was the podcast? Welcome yeah. to the show. Uh, we got Bam yeah. He's like, yeah. what? Huh? <laughs> I did say in the middle of all this, his tour manager he thought i worked at the club and comes up to me and he's like he's like don't worry he can do it he's gonna do it and i go <laughs> i don't think we should do this and he's like no no he can do this he can do it because you thought he meant the podcast i thought he meant the podcast <laughs> he thought he meant the show yeah and i'm going and i go no no we don't i've already packed up my podcast stuff and he's like what and i'm like i'm the podcast guy that i was talking to you earlier and he was like uh, you know, <laughs> be like, uh, all right, uh, uh, okay. I'm sorry, um, I need to find a manager yeah, right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did say, I mean, how, how this is brutal. He goes, uh, <laughs> he goes, all right, uh, uh, I just got to get him a couple of vodka sodas. He'll cool down, uh, and then uh, and then we can get the show started. And I was like, uh, I'm good with not doing the podcast. Yeah, it really, yeah. I don't want this. No, I should have done it. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I get it. In the moment, yeah, well, the moment is being scary. terrified, especially seeing one of your icons, your sure. heroes. Uh, just <laughs> and after all of that, <laughs> after all of that, I get a call from the tour manager, and he goes, "Hey, man, uh, we're gonna head back to Westchester, Pennsylvania, right now. If you want to come, we'll do the po he'll do the podcast." But we're gonna do it at his house. You gotta go to Pennsylvania. Now? I gotta go all the way to Westchester, Pennsylvania. You go have. to Castle Band. You should have and just lived at his Buddy, house. Buddy, it's a week. one. Of, I have. <laughs> I have two regrets with him. 
That would have been amazing. Yes, I know. And I was telling my buddy Jacob, who's like my best friend. Uh, sorry, fellas. And uh, just kidding, just kidding. And he said, I would have picked you up. It wouldn't matter. You should have went. I would have picked you up. Yeah. And I was you all go done. for the story at that point. You, I didn't want to get in the car with this fucking guy after all this. I get it. And I become what? Alpha dogged? And they yeah. fucking shoot me on a beach? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a story, though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Man, that guy's a nice. Ryan Dunn got off easy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. I think that's the podcast. What, yeah. a, what, a, what, a, what a great episode. Thank you, uh, Mark, Mark Norman. Hey, thank for you. Fun, app, fun yeah, pod. Um, for coming, man. Once the, uh, once the special comes out, obviously, everybody go check it out. You'll see it. It'll be everywhere. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, thanks, you guys. We'll, we'll see you guys next week. Bye, everybody. Yeah.